Hello my friends, this is Lex Dominion, the president of Dominion Motivation and founder of Dominion Global Fellowship. Welcome to my world. I have a good message for you this afternoon. A powerful message that will change your life. God told me to tell you, fear not. Fear not. Fear is nothing but false evidence appearing again. God said, fear not. Maybe you are going to one of those seasons in life when nothing, when everything doesn't make no sense. Maybe you are at the end of your rope. You're about to give up. You've reached rock bottom. God said, don't give up. He is there for you. He is there all the time. Fear not. These two shall pass. Many years ago, I've been through, I've been through many crazy things. When I talk about not being fearful, I'm not talking from my head. I'm talking from my experience. There was a time that I just didn't go through hell. I was living in hell. My house was in hell. I took shower in hell. I ate donut in hell. I was living in hell. But by the grace of God, God took me out of hell. But I trust, I, tr I believe God. God took me out of hell. My friend, if you believe God, you will see the glory of God. People who have not been through anything or who have not been through hell, the way they say life is different from, from some of us who have been through hell. This is, it's totally different. My friend, I'm talking from my experience. Get rid of those fear. Fear not. God will take care of you. God has a way of taking care of his children. You may be going through hell right now, but fear not. God will take care of you. I know it as I know my name. God will take care of you. If you put your trust in him, you will see the glory of God. God is ever, 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 ever reliable and dependable. You can trust the almighty God and he will take care of you. This is where faith comes in. Some people think that faith is like eating donut or chicken nugget. But no, it's not. Faith is a fight. It's a serious fight. Devil wants to prove to you that God will not be there for you. But devil is a liar. Devil wants to prove to you that God doesn't answer prayers. But God does answer prayers. But devil is a liar. You have to trust God and he will take care of you. Gag it of fear. If you believe God, you will see the glory of God. Let's go to the Bible. Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 1 to 2. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, you can put your name there. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. God said, fear not, he has redeemed you. He has redeemed you through the precious blood of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Are you not happy about that? I have called you by your name. You are mine. God said, is calling you by your name. You belong to God. You don't belong to the devil. You don't belong to the world. You belong to God. Verse 2, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. God said, when you pass through the water, waters, he will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. God said, when you pass through the, through the rivers, they shall not over, overflow you. They, 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 shall not, they shall not overflow you because God is always there with you. God will give you peace when you are going through difficult circumstances. The kind of peace that does not make sense. That's why Jesus said, this peace I give to you, not as the word, but as only him can give us that peace. What you're going through, if some people go through it, they will lose your, they will lose their mind and commit suicide. But you are going through it, you are still smiling. It is the peace of God. And this peace is not from it's not from this world, it's from heaven, it's from Jesus Christ. Peace is not a funny word from a dictionary. Peace is a name, and that name is Jesus Christ. If you want peace in your life, you need Jesus in your life. There is no peace in the world, and there will never be peace in the, in the and there will never be peace in the world. But if you have Jesus, you have this peace I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. When, God, when you walk through fire, you shall not be burnt. God said when you walk through fire, you will not be burnt. Why? Because God is there with you. Nor shall the flame scorch you. God said the flame will not scorch you because God is there with you. My friend, in conclusion, what I'm trying to tell you is that get rid of fear. Get rid of it. And embrace life. Well, and a base life with boldness. Get rid of fear. God is with you. And put your trust in God. Believe Him. And you will see the glory of God. My friend, get rid of fear. I will see you at the top. God is still speaking. Bye.